visiting Professor John, uh, Professor of Law John Cooper QC. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to um, ask you a few questions with regard to formation of the uh, uh, formation of uh, an international tribunal in order to try Islamic Republic of Iran for the mass murder of 1980s. My pleasure. Uh, could you please uh, give me your opinion about such tribunal? I think uh, the, the Iran tribunal is, is vitally important. A lot of people, uh, potential victims, uh, families of bereaved people, have been waiting for this opportunity for many, many years. And the major importance of the tribunal is allowing uh, evidence to be heard uh, and allowing the world, as well as the, the families, to actually find out what really went on uh, during the, the 1980s uh, in the Republic. Uh, as the chairman of the steering committee of Iran tribunal, uh, how do you think we could attract people uh, from around the world in order to globalize uh, your work? It's quite amazing since I took on, I was honored to be given the opportunity of taking the position of the chairmanship, the international interest uh, in the issue. We've had meetings in London uh, of eminent people that have come from literally all over the world uh, to discuss and analyse how we can uh, uh, expose uh, the evidence in this case. But obviously we need as many people as possible to take an interest and to support the work we're doing. Uh, and we want to make sure people know that these meetings are going on and we can report back to them and tell them how we're developing uh, our work. But it's also important that they read the, the wealth of material on the websites, the wealth of material on the internet, and all the other networking, international networking facilities that we now have. We live in an amazing technological age, and it is through that technology uh, that all this evidence can be heard uh, and seen, and the work we do distributed worldwide. So we need as many people as possible to hook into this uh, and become involved and become interested and most importantly it becomes supportive. How do you think such tribunal would play a role to record these events for the future? The tribunal's main aim is to record the evidence, to hear testimony, whether it be personal testimony, the actual people's words, or written testimony. Uh, uh, every aspect of evidence that we bring forward will be recorded for posterity. In many respects, uh, the, the role of the, the, the hearings will be a cathartic uh, exercise as well. People, families, uh, bereaved families, families who, for instance, still have uh, alleged victims uh, in the family, people have been tortured, because not everyone died, people were tortured and survived. All these families, all these people can hear the evidence, and by the hearing of the evidence, by the very hearing of the evidence, that cathartic exercise, that healing exercise, can actually start because in many respects, uh, despite the fact that these issues occurred uh, back in the 1980s, the healing still hasn't even started. And if there's anything that the tribunal can do, it's to allow that process to start. What is uh, the most aspect of this event? Uh, some people believe it's a triumph of uh, human spirit. and. Um, it's about the struggle between uh, light and darkness and the struggle to negate people's inherent uh, dignity. Absolutely. Uh, when I've been reading the background, uh, uh, the testimony in written documents and books in preparation for my work as chairman, uh, I, I was humbled by, by, by what I was reading, the, the pure willpower uh, of the, the people, the families bereaved, the victims, who went through, quite frankly, from my perspective, experiences and events that I can, well, I struggle to even, even, even imagine. Uh, events which could have crushed people, uh, could have uh, made them want to hide away uh, and try and forget what had happened. But the strength and determination of the people that I'm meeting and discovering, the people involved with the Iran Tribunal, uh, is truly inspirational and, and, and says to me, this is not going to go away. The tribunal is not going to go away. Uh, the people who want the evidence to be heard are absolutely determined that this is not going to happen. It is a triumph. 
of human spirit. It is a triumph of human determination. Uh, it's also a triumph of pure, good old-fashioned bravery. Is this event a voice for the victims and the survivors? Uh, what message this tribunal should send to the world? The message that the, the human society. Absolutely, the message that the tribunal should send to the world. Well, there are many messages, but the, the fundamental mental, uh, message is that uh, if crimes have been committed, people will be held to account. Now we don't we don't fool ourselves into thinking that this is a criminal tribunal whereby there will be sanctions at the end of it. The tribunal doesn't have those powers. As I indicated before in one of your earlier questions, it's a cathartic exercise. It allows people simply to, to grieve, for want of a better expression. But it also sends a very powerful message. The sort of message which is being sent out now to, to many countries uh, since the, the so-called uh, African Spring. And that is uh, the, the, the day and the age when people, ordinary citizens, uh, would be victims uh, of, of, of regimes, if proven that they'd be victims, uh, has gone. People will stand up for themselves. People are being emboldened to stand up for themselves. And it sends the fundamental message out that if you've committed a crime, if it's found that you've been committed a crime, somewhere, somehow, the people will hold you to account. Could this tribunal act as evidence uh, to be used in an international uh, setting like an international court? One of the problems, of course, we've had uh, with this whole issue is getting the United Nations to also become seized of this issue. And that has been a problem for various reasons, which we don't need to go into now. But the evidence that we gather during the course of our, our work on this tribunal we're going to gather in accordance with legal principle to make sure that when people give statements, they give statements in a confined legal way. I suppose it's one of the reasons that I, as a lawyer, uh, have been asked to help uh, with this issue, and there are other lawyers as well involved with the, with the Tribunal Steering Committee. So we are very, very uh, focused on making sure that the evidence we obtain is legally presented evidence and could be heard in, in any future tribunal uh, that may have powers. So yes, we are focusing on that. Uh, thank you for being with us and wish you good luck uh, for the work in the future. Thank you very much and thank you for speaking to me and uh, I promise you we'll do our best to, to do justice by, by the people that rely on us.